okay so uh, for a long time so we are moving into one more another podcast so welcome to avinash to this podcast sharing his experience about like and how cracking an interview and how the amazing journey in the azure data engineering thing so avinash are you there yeah dev yeah avinash welcome to vision board community for the small podcast we are producing to our community members so uh, can you give some can you share your experience thought regarding azure data engineering journey cracking an interview so can you give a some idea yeah sure dev so coming to my experience and overall uh, overall there is a total 5.5 years in experience in it so in the related to like uh, data side i told to in experience level 3 years so mm, first of all i was working previous i was working in organization like a uh, like a role like a, a windows and admin level so not in a data engineering level so okay. after admin level i worked like a 5 year 5.5 years so i want to move like a change the transition level into like a data engineering so uh, then i thought uh, to move out the organization like to vision board to meet you so i when i joined you i uh, i was started a course like uh, to interact to you what is a data engineering i don't know about a data engineering there and uh, ajur said and a data engineering so then i started learning about uh, what is a data engineering what is on premise data and the tools like uh, like a adf and the data breaks uh, like a pyspark and sql and python i started learning there up to 3 months and 4 months after that i started the interview i, I started the interviews for the giving the interviews like a uh, company uh to resume like uh, putting like a three years data engineering overall 5.5 okay. i started there and i'm looking for the uh for the calls and i'm attending the calls and review so i started there is a uh, from the sql and uh, the, uh, the questions are asking from master and five spark and five okay. so most of the scenarios i will ask from the idea of uh, uh to data factory and the uh, data bricks uh, and as in that also so this is the scenario when the goes to in the interview uh, learning the pattern level adf and uh, data bricks mostly they are asking mm -hmm. okay okay and uh, avinash i got this question from most of our community member how easy for the transition so uh, i am telling like 3 months to 5 months is enough for the transition if you have a industry experience so can you tell me how your experience it is possible right yeah is it possible devi uh, starting it is uh, like uh, too hard uh, to learn things but uh, when i uh, when i came to the vision board uh, to whatever interacting with you and teaching your skills and learning things like i'm uh, starting like a uh, dp 100 after i started into data bricks like uh, uh, like a um, fundamentals uh, fundamental certification i uh, learned the certification and also i started into ql and pyspark uh these things to get in into the data engineering side okay so that means it is possible so if anyone has i mean she is the best example if you consistently learning thing we can able to crack the interview because this is the question i got lot of time in the community because they are coming from the testing background their admin role uh, they how to my be there like an or like an existing career to the direct transition so it will be definitely easy right is other yeah, best yeah before uh, when i before when i joined the vision board i don't know about uh, i know about basic knowledge and azure cloud but i don't know about data engineering what is data and uh, sql queries python because i don't uh, i'm not a background of uh, coding level uh, totally in a uh, admin role uh, like that so when i joined the vision board i'm starting learning it is a uh, what you teaching starting level Uh, like a certification to motivate to uh, get a certifications and uh, and uh, coding level sql python pyspark uh, to attend the first round of interview uh, and companies and mm -hmm. i started uh, to create a lab in a basically lab and uh, start learning the creating a pipelines uh, to real time in project uh, this help uh, this, uh, this type of experience i help in uh, interviews also 
Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And uh, one more thing I got, like, and how the interview process is, looks like. So what you what do you think, Aminash? Current market, there are a lot of opening we can see. What are the core skills we need to be brushed up before any kind of interviews? Yeah, Delhi. Uh, from last six months, I attended a nearly 20 to 20, 20 interviews. Interviews calls are okay. Uh, if you have a three to five years, uh, five years is more means you'll get a call. So three to two years are at least data engineering role. So the mostly we want to go for uh, like uh, interviews are first round and uh, second round, and uh, some of interviews are uh, conducting online tests like uh, like Python and SQL. If you clear uh, this uh, online test, you'll go for the first round, and uh, this is a. Uh, um, uh, suppose if you have a, if you don't have an online test, if you have only two rounds, first first round and second round. Uh, mm -hmm. this is the process. First round it will be a mostly asking the basic uh, questions like an uh, auto data factory and auto uh, data page and SQL and uh, SQL like uh, function levels and uh, joining function. Uh, some uh, internet level up to SQL internet level they are asking and PySpark. Okay. Uh, after the second round, client round, client round mostly they are asking real time scenarios. So I will get an idea of an idea of like uh, how to onpremise data into the cloud cloud level. Uh, mm -hmm. So what type of actives you are using and a data bricks level. Uh, mostly how to connect uh, idea of into data bricks. Or oh, yeah, this type of question synapse. So uh, what is the synapse uh, uses for synapse and data bricks? What is the purpose? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that kind of question you need to be focused, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. And one more question. Uh, so if you are working uh, like in five years of experience, how many calls you are expecting? Like and how you think about the market is currently is like a booming or like a recession? What do you feel like? And uh, if you have a five years, it uh, depends on uh, notice period. Uh, uh, if you have one month of 45 days notice period, so definitely you will get a call from the top and and product based company mm -hmm. for four years. Okay. And get more package also, or yeah, nowadays they are giving 20 plus 25 plus for mm -hmm. uh, the companies are they giving uh, to the candidate, right? Who have like, cracked the yeah, yeah. Like that kind of market boom we can see, right? 20, 20 above 20 LP, right? yeah. Usually, you'll get a 20 to 25, and also if we have uh, they are considering uh, previous uh yeah previous uh, what your package and uh, what is salary and uh, they're giving uh, extra if you have an offer in between means they will give oh okay 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 no, that kind of criteria also there right the based, on, uh, based on the previous salary we can maybe first thing you can get a hundred percent right then uh, if you have an offer you will get them better right yeah usually you will get a hundred percent if you are getting middle in between offer means Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and one more question. Uh, so, I mean, you can give like a suggestion, right? So, who people who are preparing for these things really struggling? What is the motivation or what is the advice you can give to them to yeah, like yeah, changing yeah. their and First of all, don't bring the constraints in the background of not background of data engineering. Uh, who are coming uh, like me, like an admin level or testing or something uh, uh, different domain. Who are the transition to the data engineering, like Azure level, Azure data engineering. Uh, first of all, they want to focus uh, on, we want to get the market means you want to focus on up to three to five months, uh, three to four months. Uh, first of all, like a SQL or PySpark or Python, we need to constantly level and also and jump into Azure side after that coding. Uh, like I uh, want to do any certification within one month or two months, like a uh, fundamentals, like a TP203, you'll get a call from there. Uh, if you have, you have a low experience, like a uh, two to three years experience, definitely they will, they will give a uh, certification uh, for the, uh, when you're getting the interview, like uh, calls. And okay. we get a course after that to cloud level. We want to learn a cloud level like a yeah, Azure Data Factory, Synapse, and Databricks, uh, okay. and DevOps also. Yeah, no. Okay. These are the main topics that they will be. Yeah, main, mainly they are asking for the interviews. Okay. okay. Then, whoever is preparing for these three months on these topics, like an SQL, PySpark skill, certification, adding the certification in the resume, 
then ADF data they will definitely get a job in the market, right? Yeah, surely they will definitely get a job. Uh, maybe. Uh, and uh, there are more calls are getting from the data engineering because mm -hmm. uh, every organization, every company of the client level uh, huge data. So they want uh -huh. they want to get into cloud level. Uh, uh -huh. They store a high data. They want to store it into cloud level. By mm -hmm. using, they want to choose the uh, mostly an Azure side because uh, mm -hmm. Azure features uh, compared to AWS or uh, things, uh, Azure features is uh, very good from the data engineering and yes. also the uh, that is the flexible for the client side. Oh, okay. That's why they are choosing the Microsoft side. Mm -hmm. That is the reason Azure data engineer has the more demand in the industry. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, security level also the Azure is a good for that thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. That, uh, and before winding up, any other thing you want to share to the uh, like a community? So any other thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, baby. First of all, uh, don't break the the consistency what you are learning because it is a very hard. Starting is a very hard because if you don't have a background skills like a data engineering and coding skills, it is a very hard. But if you stay at least two months, means it will definitely will get a crack the interviews at a definitely you will get a job from the Azure data engineering level. Uh, example is me. Uh, first time starting, I I don't understand like a data side or SQL and then I want to. And the few constants level continue two to two four months means it definitely will crack the entry. It is possible. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, thanks for Avinash for your valuable time spending yeah, the time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Devi. And uh, one more thing, uh, I will thank you, particular you, uh, before joining and after the joining the vision board. Uh, I'll get a uh, crack the interviews, uh, one or two interviews, I uh, crack the interviews because of you. You motivate, uh, like you do. Right. Right. And, and, uh, that is, that is yeah. not completely, so that is our community, definitely. It is completely your dedication. I am just like a part of the way. So yeah. I am really happy because you are getting a job. It's yeah. like a kind yeah. of sharing people. We can able to, we combine, we can able to help in, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's yeah. really kind of a very, Happy moment for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, and you are, you're doing an, an uh, real time projects and motivate and uh, and separate your giving the interview sessions also. Okay. This is the interview sessions mostly helping the to crack the interview. Uh, yeah, what we are doing. This year, I think that things are changing. That is the reason we updated some of the interview questions. So they are more asking like a deeper, deeper interviews and all. Like and you yeah. also. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, most of the interviews are asking a uh, pie spark level, and if you have a pie spark and SQL, uh, it will be become the easy to crack the interview. Exactly, and yeah. that is yeah. one thing. Trend is changing every year, every yes. six months, trends is changing. So now yeah. they are asking like more pie spark, SQL advanced question, and scenario deep, deep scenarios question. So, yeah, and that's, yeah. I saw, uh, I think uh, two or three interviews, uh, four interviews. Like mostly, they ask the PySpark theory questions also. In mm -hmm. PySpark, what is meant by like a uh, uh, broadcast variables and uh, or you, can you tell me the Spark architecture? Uh, mm -hmm. Like the theory questions and also can you tell me the optimization and partition level in Spark as well? Yeah, um, theory yeah. questions also they are um, asking and the coding level also. Um, um, that are the main thing, right? Like this year we can see. So people who focus these kind of core concept definitely they can able to crack the interview, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, yeah. And also and, if you uh, do one certification like the uh, Azure side or data grid side, it is certification uh, uh, I think better, I think, in the industry. Yeah. Yeah, it is really helpful for our, our getting the calls and you uh, know we can ask a uh, high salary also for uh, showing the certification. Uh, yes, I think Databricks so you you think like which one is good Databricks or DP two or three? Yeah, mostly they are asking uh, Databricks, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. 
if you have any project level of juice side loan, DP203 is good. Uh, if you have any like a uh, developing part, uh, yeah. developing side like PySpark and DevOps, uh, SQL, uh, like a uh, Databricks, it is good for the Databricks uh, certification. Okay, okay, okay. That is also will help us to uh, like yeah. Yeah. shortlisting our resume, right? Shortlisting. And, uh, higher salary, we can negotiate that side. And negotiate, yeah. Okay. And also, or not only that, but also if you loan some basic level of CI/CD pipelines mm -hmm. and the website, uh, and also uh, like uh, logical apps, logic app, mm -hmm. and if you uh, if you loan some some three basic things, uh, it is advantage to you. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, that is also they are asking, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. How to how to then they have to send the data from the multiple environments and the DevOps mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Avinash. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Well, thank so, you. Okay. Yeah. This uh podcast will help a lot of people helping their landing their dream job. And we can together we can give a wish to others also, right? So yes, you are yes. there, there uh, like an the dream come true in after this watching this podcast and all. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for time. So we can connect again, Avinash. Yeah, thank you, Liz. Thank you once again. Thank you. Yeah, bye.